Campbell at James Madison. JMU 4-2 and two on the season. Their only losses to ranked teams. It's all Campbell early. Andrew Ryan with a couple of early triples. And then Rico McCarter in his second game back with CU hits the trifecta. Campbell is up 9-3 to three early. We're still in the first half and still Campbell pouring it on. Kyrae Hamer with the layup. Then DJ Mason takes this nice feed and hits. Campbell up 13-4, six minutes in. It still goes. Campbell dominating. Rico again, 13-4. Campbell with the lead. Fast forward to the second half. We're in a tight one. Mason with the layup and one. Next series, Mason on the defensive end with the steal. He'll take it all the way to the hoop on the other end. We are tied at 36. DJ had 13 points. And this great assist. He hits Ryan on the cut who puts it down with two hands. Ryan Leads all scores with 18, steps back for the three on the next possession. We're tied up again, seven ties in the second half. Here's one of them, McCarter with the nifty putback. Ryan this time, not wanting to show off, just lays it in. Then Curtis Phillips, the reigning Big South Conference freshman of the week, hits this tough layup. Guess what? Tied. Less than a minute left. Campbell down two. Hamer around the world. And we are tied at 61 after a CU defensive stop, 10 seconds to go. Ryan hits the shot, but DJ Mason called for the offensive foul. Take a look. They'll call the basket off. Six seconds left. Tie game. Ron Curry for James Madison. Streaks to the basket and finds Andre Nation on the lob. JMU up. Two seconds left. Campbell not done yet. Last chance for CU, Hamer with the three, just short. Campbell puts up a tough fight, but falls 63-61. I thought my guys played really hard. I'm proud of them. I thought they really competed at a high level. Um, showed a lot of grit. I thought we showed, start, showed like we were starting to formulate an identity tonight, which uh, I think bodes well for us in the future.